everyone, it's me, the Otaku Fango, here to review episode 7 of Katsugeki Token Ranmu. So, we go to the first unit and see their mission, one of their missions. And with this one, they, um, well, basically, there's this guy named uh, Ashikaga Yoshiteru, and basically, he dies, and he's, uh, he used to have the swords Honobi, Hombami, whatever his name was, and two others, I think, in their group, and he died. And his spirit got possessed, and then he started becoming this street slasher, which is what they're investigating. They're like, there's this street slasher in Kyoto, let's go investigate this. And so when they get to Kyoto, um, it's desolate, barely anyone's out, it's weird. Um, also this group, the first unit, they are powerful enough to take down Notachi, and I'm like, dang! Like, just one person, I'm like, dang! <laughs> The second unit had such a hard time doing that, one guy almost died doing it, so I'm like, dang, they are powerful. And on this team we have the Captain with a Hood, Mikazuki, which I know Mikazuki is like a fan favorite. Um, I can kind of see why after this episode, he's really powerful and strong, but not a, eh, not a husband though of mine. But anyway, so as they're investigating, they, well, of course, come across the Street Slasher, which is most likely the soul, the corrupted soul of what's-his-face, Ashikaga Yoshiteru. Um, so yeah, they come across him, fight him, and uh, he's very powerful. He can summon the time retrograde army, and I'm like, dang, who gave this guy this power? <laughs> like, seriously, he would just summon them non-stop. There was like an entire army of them, like, oh my goodness, <laughs> and they all took him down too, and I'm like, dang, he even had the power to, like, combine them into one, which was the most strongest thing there that Mikazuki had to take down, I'm like, jeez, um, <laughs> that happened, <laughs> um, so yeah, in this group, we have some interesting characters, though, where there's a few that I never saw in Hanamaru, then again, I never finished it, so maybe they did appear, but there was these two brothers, there was this gray-haired dude, um, and I'm like, huh, I've never seen you guys before in Hanamaru. You could have been in it because I never finished it, but I doubt it. Maybe you were there. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, this whole episode just kind of focused on them and them figuring this out. They didn't really figure it out if that was him, really. Um, but I'm like 100% sure it was, especially with the beginning of the episode. I'm like, yeah, that's totally him. He's just possessed now. <laughs> His soul is now corrupted. <laughs> oh, man. Also, Hona, Hona uh, Bami, he looks a lot like a Tales of Zestria character since it was Ufotable who animated that. And his eyes and kind of his hair, like, I look at him and I'm like, you look like such a Zestria character. You look out of place in some scenes. <laughs> it's weird. Because <laughs> um, they all have their own style but then I look at him and I'm like, you look like such a Zestiria, Zestiria character, what the heck? <laughs> Get out of here, go back! <laughs> it was weird, I was just like, why do you look like that? It's so strange. But anyway, after, you know, they defeated everything and, uh, you know, he's like, what was he doing, you know, and then Mikazuki is like, maybe you wanted him, and maybe he wanted you to defeat him and, you know, save his soul and crap, and I was like, okay, cool, that episode happened. Honestly, I mean, I like the first unit, but I prefer the second unit. They're uh, more entertaining, I feel like, <laughs> because of Mitsuno Kami, and uh, <laughs> yeah, just, I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get them in the next episode, but we don't know, because the next episode's title was very vague. Um, it's just called To Protect History, so I have no idea if we're gonna keep with the first unit for a while, or if we're gonna go back to the second unit after they've healed up and rested. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, I mean, it'd be nice to keep with the first unit for a little bit, but I'd like to go back to the second unit because I just, I don't know, I like, kind of like them a little bit better. <laughs> um, but overall, it's a pretty entertaining episode. Of course, the animation was stellar again. It always is. <laughs> um, so, yeah, not much else to say about this episode, really. Besides Hood Guy being my favorite one out of the group, um, I know a lot of people are like, oh, Mikazuki! Mom, I'm gonna be like, oh, Hood Guy, I think his name is Yabman Bagivi, I think? I don't know, his name's hard to say, so, yeah. Also, in the preview, it was cute, he blushed, like, when he complimented, I was like, oh, aren't you cute? <laughs> I love you. <laughs> uh, but anyway, overall entertaining episode. What'd you guys think of the episode? What do you think's gonna happen next? Are we gonna go back to the second unit, or are we gonna keep with the first unit? I don't know, we'll have to see. So, see you guys in whatever I review next. Bye!